we are at Gumbo Limbo's Butterfly Garden. This garden was designed as an open air garden with a variety of plants to attract bees, butterflies, and other pollinators. Making sure the garden is pollinated helps to keep it thriving. This garden has both nectar producing plants that butterflies feed on and host plants where they lay their eggs. The host plants are actually food for the caterpillars once they hatch out. So you see, butterfly gardens provide food and shelter for butterflies throughout their whole life cycle. Additionally, they give butterflies a place to rest in the shade or bask in the sun to control their body temperature. After all, they are cold-blooded. One of the butterflies you might see in the garden is the monarch butterfly. This butterfly has orange wings laced with black lines and white dots. Bright colors warn predators that they are foul tasting and poisonous, which means do not eat. The poison comes from their diet, milkweed. Monarch butterflies have adapted to tolerate this toxic plant. They use it to their advantage as they store the toxins of this plant in their body for protection. Another butterfly you may come across is the zebra longwing, Florida's state butterfly. It is easily identified by its elongated black wings with bright yellow zebra-like stripes. Because these butterflies feed on both pollen and nectar, they have a longer lifespan than most butterflies of several months. These butterflies like to use the beautiful purple passion flower as their host plant. The last of the butterflies we're going to look at is the giant swallowtail butterfly. Swallowtails are a group of butterflies named for the long, tail-like extensions on their hind wings. Not only does our butterfly garden attract beautiful butterflies, but it has lots of fun plants that are great for the senses. Angel wing jasmine is a plant that appeals to the sense of smell. This flower is sweetly fragrant with pure white star-shaped flowers. Popcorn cassia is another plant with a very distinct smell. And it smells, you guessed it, like fresh buttered popcorn. If you ever spot this plant with its bright yellow flowers that look like popcorn, make sure to gently rub the leaves and take a sniff. The necklace pod is a fun plant to touch because its leaves are covered with velvety, silvery green hairs which help the plant to retain water in salty sea air. It reminds me of petting soft bunny fur. If you're thinking about starting a butterfly garden at home, a great plant to start with is firebush. This plant's red flowers attract all kinds of pollinators, including hummingbirds. sensitive plant, also called sunshine mimosa, has sensitive leaves that when gently touched, close for protection. This plant also has bright pink powder puff-like flowers that attract pollinators. Butterfly gardens are important because they help to promote pollination in our ecosystems. Increased pollination helps to keep native plants thriving and sustain our natural habitats for the other organisms that call these ecosystems home.